Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in Red Dusk, a mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mocha Lover, but today we're playing as SFR Yugoslavia. In January 1st, the year 2000, we have different guides and whatnot. A dream shattered though, since I'll read this, I'll read this since it's the first time playing this. Born in the end of the Great War, just to be shattered in 1941, it could, so it could be reborn in 1945, only to be shattered once again. Such is the fate of Yugoslavia, betrayed, forgotten, and abandoned, and left to die in agony. With the death of Josef Broz Tito, it was proven that this concept of brotherhood and unity could not work without one crucial component, him. And as it all goes, troubles have just started. Soon came the IMF debt, rise of nationals and protests. Milosevic's, oh, Milosevic's takeover at the end of it, wars. The start of the 90s was a terrible time for Yugoslavia. Not only was the entire system falling apart, but the republics of Slovenia and Croatia declared their independence. Bosnia as well as just slipping apart, only to be prevented at the last moment by quick action of JNA. Uh, war soon followed, however, against the newly independent Republic of Croatia, with the government giving arms and support in the separatist Republic of Srpska Krajina. In the end, however, Yugoslavia could barely arrive at a stalemate to keep Ozijek from after years of fighting <clears throat> at home. Even though Mil Milosevic was able to secure his political hold on the state, it started to slip away once again as the opposition united under Stambolic's new Yugoslav left in 1977. After the restrictions uh, by the war were mostly lifted due to pressure, this further led to Misel Milosevic allying himself with more of a nationalist of Sicilia. Uh, Outside of the political sphere, multiple separatist organizations arose in Kosovo and Bosnia, fighting for the independence of the republics by regularly committing attacks on infrastructure and against government officials. Now, as Yugoslavia approaches the new millennium, it has to deal with the upcoming storm that threatens both the political system and the structure of the country. Tito, where are you? So, I'll be honest, I am going to. Uh, if you're not already noticed. I've already screwed up the names of people and whatnot, so apologies. I know at the time of scrolling, some people want me to play as America, but apparently they don't have enough content yet. They've got some, so, but we are who we are. We're a broken nation. <clears throat> Yugoslavia, dream of our fathers and grandfathers have been shattered brutally in the 90s. Now, we stand on the brink of death. We might as well be truly dead, unless we take radical action, of course. So, we got a couple things here. Anti-separatist operations. Yugoslavia is made up of multiple nations working together for a shared global unified country, however, but the country whose motto is brotherhood and unity is quite the opposite. Nationalism and separatism have been in the rise since Tito's death, even worsened by the Eastern Bloc collapse that inadvertently sped up the separation of Slovenia and Croatia. But the country barely avoiding collapse with a swift army coup in Bosnia to keep it from seceding. Ever since then, Yugoslavia is filled with separatist and armed groups, ranging from Kosovo to Bosnia and Herzegovina mountains, sabotaging industry and causing chaos. It's crucial for us to start operations against these insurgents if we want Yugoslavia to survive. The amount of power the rebels have in each state ranges from 1 to 5 levels. In the event of an uprising, divisions will rise up depending on that level. You can always check the level of each state has for by looking at the state modifier of the state. Oh, look down here. Four rebel divisions. Oh god. Power for presence. Power for presence. Really, rebel stronghold. Rebel stronghold. Oh, and we went down here too. Kosovo, real strong. Not great. Also, here are the guides, too. Um, we have Slobodan, Mil our guy, basically. Milosevic. We can continue with him. Or, we can go Vojislav Sesuj, ultra national and like a nationalist. Ivan Stambolik. So, there's three different routes we can do. And I think you're all the devs for doing this, too. Seems like a pretty well, good mod. Well put together mod. Uh, so a broken nation, a new future. What am I getting more stability? Despite all the hardships and failures the nation suffered during the 90s, we must look forward. There's no turning back in future ways that we should march into new dawn. So we got this. We now have debt management. Ever since the 70s, our foreign debts have been on a steady rise. Yugoslavia has always had a problem with the debts being owed to foreign countries as the money was used by Tito to finance Yugoslavia's economy. These debts were never paid properly, only further increasing after the unstable 90s where we were forced to take even on more debts to finance the war against Croatia. However, there's a good side of these debts. We can use it to decrease consumer goods, get weaponry, and other boosts for our industry at the cost of our economic health. We currently owe thirty-seven billion dollars in debt. Our economic health is good. If it gets is in bad condition, it would be hard for us to pay back our debts and achieve any bonuses from their debts. Finish paying debts. I like to do that one in foreign policy. <laughs> it is said that a country's role in external situations is as important as its internal situations. There are multiple conflicts all across the world that we can benefit by by backing aside and supporting them. In these conflicts, if we back a side that wins, we'll get both economic benefits and improved relations with people whom we backed. If they lose, our relationship with the winning side will get extremely sour. So there's no no, no, no real loss. Local politicians kidnapped. A local politician that supported the recent policies of Ms. Milosevic has been kidnapped by a local rebel force and barricaded themselves inside her office 
The bank money exchange to the city of the politician. Give him money. No. If you belong to the major defense against the EPLF, you're gonna need this, please go ahead. Good. Well, I'm probably gonna back these guys. I mean we're still communists ourselves, you know. We're reform communists. But still. Of course they're socialists. I can send two divisions. Um, uh, knowing Ethiopia, there's a lot of mountains and whatnot, so we don't want to send any tanks. Also, I did convert two of these divisions over. Um, because we needed two divisions to be converted over. Good luck, guys. You might need it. Askum. A dream shattered. <clears throat> born at the end of the Great War, just be shattered again. Uh, 40 wants to be reborn in 45 and to be shattered again. Uh, I've ever this pretty much. Um, yeah, face this. Such as the fate of Yugoslavia, betrayed, forgotten, and abandoned, left to die in agony. The death of Tito has proven that his concept of brother and unity could not work without one crucial component of him, of course. Um, so, not only the start of the 1990 was a terrible time for Yugoslavia, not only was the entire system falling apart, but the Republic of Slovenia and Croatia declared their independence. In response, nothing. Besides giving arms and training to the Republic of Srpska's regime, we have no power to stop these wars or even take back our lost territory. We barely even manage to hold Bosnia. We're just waiting for the death to take us out of this misery. Tito, where are you? A uh, power struggle, huh? Oh. New Yugoslav left. Ivan Stambolic. <coughs> <coughs> a known critic of Ms. Milosevic. Since his rise of power, Stambolic is the leader of the new Yugoslav left, founded the party together with the smaller parties that could not pose a serious threat to uh, Milosevic's government. The party became the official opposition and rose to prominence after winning multiple seats in the assembly in the 98 election, with many believing NYL to be finally the party that end Milosevic's dominant of the political scene. He's anti establishment, classical communist, Titoist, popular frontism. Pro-USSR, neutral foreign policy oriented against NATO. Uh, this is our government coalition, our guy. Paramount leader of the Yugoslavia since his rise to power in 89, Milosevic is renowned for his populist Serb nationalist policy, nationalistic policies that almost collapsed Yugoslavia, and also Croatia and Slovenia after a war with both nations. Um, Milosevic's government slowly became more unpopular due to increasing tensions between different ethnicities, which contributed to growing instability of Yugoslavia, with terrorist attacks and crime becoming more common by the day. He decided to create a unity government and not follow the power after the founding of NYL by Stambolic, huh. Serb nationalist, anti NATO, market socialism, socialist left party of Yugoslavia. This is his wife and close advisor. Wow. Founded <clears throat> the SLPOY, referred to the Socialist Party in 97 after the announcement of a unified opposition by Stambolic. Or Stambolic. Any support from some minor leftist politicians wasn't, that wasn't aligned with Stambolic. Mostly the Socialist Party is a puppet to Milosevic and a prime example of nepotism in politics. <clears throat> and then Patriotic Communist Party of Yugoslavia. Famous for its ultra national stance against many ethnic cities of Yugoslavia, uh, Sezelj has been opposed against the communist government of Milosevic. Milosevic, uh, being allowed to register a party with the condition of allying with Milosevic to form a unity government. His party, Patriotic Communist Party of pa Yugoslavia, has described itself as a national communist patriotic organization that promotes a perspective of communism that protects the Serb population. Many leftists have denounced Sezilj uh, as a fake communist, with many doubting uh, Sezilj would change his mind on communism so quickly. Interesting. Any future? I need the political power. Slow was 11 years. Two coalition parties. A new constitution. National report. Um, reinforce Bosnia. Uh, how about national report? Ever since the collapse, we have to be careful. One wrong move could cost us the entire country. So I need to construct national reports. These documents everything about the state of the country security from Sarajevo to Skopje. Backing aside in the Ethiopia war, having begun in 61 by Eritreans who are discontent with the declining autonomy of Eritrea, the war in Ethiopia continues to this day. The conflict particularly intensified during the late 80s and beginning of the 90s as anti dirk rebels almost opposed the Ethiopian government, only failing after an offensive by the government backed by the Soviet Union, which began fighting them once again after the August coup and Cuban divisions. Bushing Ethiopian opposition EPRDF into a less powerful but very still active insurgency in 95. 
By the beginning of the new millennium, the Ethiopians have launched a surprise offensive code named Operation Warid Wali to end the conflict once for all. However, the failure of this operation, they invest lots of resources into, could be very deadly and change the tide of the war. What do we support? Uh, we're going to probably go with Ethiopia. We'll be back in this conflict with the country. If it wins, we'll gain a military and civil factory. If they lose, we'll lose political power in relations with the country that won, we'll be damaged. Um, take it easy. We're going to go with this country for now, so... Our guys do not have a lot of equipment. They're only 17 combat width. Um, should be able to win in the end, I hope. For the love of God. I want to help you in your attacks, but I just don't know if we can. ROC's president resigns. Oh, look at that. Are you fine, Mr. Democracy? Nope. Okay. Fighting with rebel forces is deadly. While searching for terrorists in the town of the SR Bosnia, our task forces got ambushed by them, taking heavy casualties and were forced to retreat. The task force had resorted to bombing the town with drones passed by the rebels, causing damage to the infrastructure and backlash from the local government. These terrorists will pay. Not good. Because we have a new future, though. Slobo is 11 years. After Tito, Slobodan Miselovic is one of the most well known Yugoslav leaders. Brought in thanks to his connections, um, he has led our nation for the past 11 years. Many things have changed, some better for the worse, but some for the better. Is there an anti operation measure? Um, I would like to. Sudan. Well, we're going to keep here for now. We, we need to keep our political power for now, too. You guys actually win here? Because it, is it PRC here? No, the USSR is here. Big brother. Older, bigger brother. Actually, can you guys win here, too? Hey, nice job. See? They get in there. Alright, so... I don't mind paying back a million dollars. Pay back two billion dollars. Five billion. But we need more command power as well. So we need more war support. Even though we're, we're literally losing weekly stability and whatnot, you know. Uh, Tito, there's a saying in Yugoslavia talking about how T Tito never truly went away. How his spirit is still present in our government and in the minds of the people. In reality, however, the sure shock caused by Tito's death forced people to make this whole thing up as to try to cope with the reality that our marshal is gone. Even though Tito is no longer liable not to destroy his legacy as it is the only thing keeping this nation together. End of the house going to be an anti terrorist operation. Starting in the late 99, due to the recent rise of terrorism occurring in the Herzegovina region of the Bosnia SR by the Herzegovina Liberation Army, led by Milosev Petovic, uh, Petkovic, the JNA combined local militia force said could launch a counterinsurgent operation with the aim to dislodge insurgents from the mountainous region. While semi success with the HLA losing control of multiple districts and being forced to retreat into mountainous regions, the operation ended with multiple casualties from the JNA. The public opinion. Uh, and Herzegovina also decreased due to high military presence and increased combat. It's still a success, though. Oh, look at that. This is open manpower, more reformed communism, more army XP. Uh, Herzegovina becomes a demilitarized zone. Oh. Well, demoralized army. Yugoslav People's Army has been the main defense force of the SR, uh, SFRY since the creation of the end of World War II, however. A lot has changed since the glory days. The military command became corrupt, equipment outdated, and most of our manpower reduced to a small, semi-professional force. Not to mention our loss of equipment and manpower during the 1990s. Alright, so we can actually do stuff here. Uh, we have more options now. Oh, can't do that one. We can do this one, though. So we're going to rush in. Honestly, you get Russian, everybody. See what you can do. Century leap here. Oh, maybe you want to do this, please, good head. Docks keep on, clocks keep on ticking. Oh, well, they definitely got more than eight right now. Death Nelson Mandela. Well, that's not good for them. Whatever. Get a decent amount of armies. Speak Kuhn Azerbaijan. Look at that. Surely disabled the region. So. Hey. 
the surgeons be defeated, we need to keep at least eight divisions in the area to fight up them. If we succeed, the surgeons will strengthen the state, and vice versa if we don't. I take it failure. Huh. It was quite the morning of Novi Sab. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. People were busy. Traffic was loud as always, and the news were on the TV. <clears throat> For Dragomir, an old partisan veteran from World War II. It was another day in his nightmare known as the post-Tito Yugoslavia. He didn't even bother to watch the news. He knew that there was no point left in it. All the people in the government were either Milos uh, Milosevic's loyal dogs or idiotic liberals. Eleven years of Slobodan's unquestionable rule have been tough. War, sanctions, terrorism, shortage of almost everything. Rise of nationalism become an almost everyday thing for Yugoslavia. There were some positives indeed, such as simplification of the Tito era bureaucracy, but such things didn't matter to the ordinary people. But none of that was on Daragomir's mind. He, like most of the Yugoslav people, had their own personal problems to worry about. Another day. Two coalition parties, a national report. We really don't want to hurt our political power, though, or force, but really. Um, for three, some three decades, Yugoslavs had lived relatively comfortably with an inconsistency uh, or, uh, implicit in a society that was devoted to part participatory, self-managing socialism and dependent on charismatic authority. The popular revolutions of 1989 that swept communist politicians from power in Eastern Europe did not stay at the borders of Yugoslavia. Socialist Left Party of Yugoslavia, led by Mirajan Markovic, declared itself to be a party of all left-wing and progressive forces that believe that the general interest always comes above private interest, including communist, socialists, greens, social democrats, and democratic socialists. The patriotic community of our communist party of Yugoslavia is an anti-revisionist, Marxist-Leninist communist party of Serbia led by Vojislav Sesej. Although stating its goal to be the reunification of Yugoslavia with, under strong hand, the party is filled with Serbian ultranationalists masquerading as communists. How are we supposed to accomplish this so, you know, so soon? Look at that. Very nice. Increased discontent in Bosnia. Bosnia SR is considered by some uh, by Yugoslavia inside Yugoslavia. With ethnic diversity, the Republic where Croats, Bosniak, Muslims, and Serbs live. This also means it's real with instability as well. Being real with separatist activity and almost separating before a JNA coup was initiated against the leadership. Ever since then, the Republic has been under military supervision. However, that also soon might change as more of our people see it as unfair military occupation and turn to separatist underground groups. One suggestion is to appoint Fikret Abdik into a piece of Bosniaks. Abdek, leader of the Agro Komark conglomerate, is friendly to Belgrade after having been sidelined by the SDA leadership. Of course, we can also choose not to keep and keep the military in place. Appoint him? Oh crap, that's really bad. Keep a strong hand. Lose stability? I'm already losing weekly stability as is. Relax it a little, or strong arm it. Get more stability. Get a lot of stability. Or lose political power. Or lose stability. Get more war support. I want more war support. Truth be told, I'm at the current time I'm feeling like we want to go with Ivan, maybe? Greater Yugoslavia. This one's okay. This is alright. Because right now we are reformed communists. We go with Stambuluk, maybe. I want to keep a strong hand. It's probably a bad idea, but that's okay. Right? Right? We don't have enough command power. We need more political power too. So. Supplies are pretty bad here. Failed. Oh, we do need to keep eight in there the entire time? Wait, what? Hello? Uh, what? That seems kind of insane. Uh, the two coalition parties. During these past years, life for leader Slobodan Misilovic politically has been rough. The current situation within the Congress of the SKJ can be simplified as the wrong plan for the wrong state sort of dilemma. With a messy coalition of parties existing solely to keep the country from, from collapse. Facing an opposition whose rising popularity. So, we best that the current situation was simplified. Within the broad co government coalition lies three main factions the libertarian left SLPOY faction, led by the wife of our leader, Mirjan Milosevic, the current market socialist SKJ M faction, leading the country, led by Milosevic himself, and the hardline left as PCPOY faction, led by Serbian ultra nationalist Vosislav Sisselj. The SPL 
SLPOY drives a message of a more libertarian form of socialism, supporting a more market socialist driven economy, more traditional select forms of nationalism, and more moderate view on serving nationalism. Despite the messaging of the party, it's mostly seen as a shining example of nepotism due to the leader of the party being the wife of Slobodan himself, the current leading faction is the SKJM, and serves to keep the current government trends going and restore the glory of former Yugoslavia. The current head of the party, Milosevic, has been previously catastrophic to the stability of the nation as his tendencies of Serbian nationals favoring legislation and the actions brought upon a majority of the calamities of which we suffer from today, such as Croatian Slovenian cessation, ethnic divides, and lots of government disunity which makes Milosevic form the coalition in the first place. And the last was uh, interesting faction of the SKJ are the PCPOY, led by the infamous Bojislav Sesil. Known for his past as a Serbian nationalist, he has managed to make, make his way to the top of the currently most influential faction of the Congress, supporting the ideas of national communism, greater Serb nationalism, and a command style economy. Many other leftist uh, members of the party criticize him and his role in the coalition as hypocritical. It's something he won't be hesitant to change his mind on leftism. Patriotic communists? Oh, uh, close. Cooperate closely with the socialists. Uh, we can go with that one, I guess. We did the national port. Uh, uh, I don't want to lose our war support. A new constitution? The current constitution in Yugoslavia is quite outdated and was made before Croatian Slovenia's rebellion. It also is needlessly complicated and doesn't give enough power to the executive branch to rule the uh, country efficiently. We should introduce a new constitution to solve these problems even if we face opposition. Uh, ever since the collapse, we've had to be careful. One wrong move could cost us an entire country. That's why we need to conduct national reports. These documents of everything about state of the country security, country security from Sarajevo to Skopje. Drafting the constitution. It's no surprise that the last Yugoslav constitution written in 1974 is quite outdated and overly complicated. To fix these problems, a new constitution plan has been drafted that simplifies both the election progress of new deputies and policy making by giving more power to the executive structure and decreasing the power of local assemblies. The plan has been outright rejected by NYL that claimed the new constitution gave too much power to Misilovic. Although the power of coalition parties, um, we can safely pass this constitution. One of our coalition partners, uh, Sesej, wants to make some changes to the constitution, such as outright abolishing the local assemblies and leagues. The decision that is made today will be met after the SKJ Congress of the Year. Hmm. Go with the original plans. Mm, I want more political power. I really do. Separate activity. So this isn't going to blow up in our face yet, but we'll get worse separate activity. Because once we get these guys done, that would be great. Right now, we have eight here. We have uh, quite a few around here. So this area <clears throat> is one giant area. You should be able to... Well, do we have enough? Eight? This is nine. I can take one of these guys. One, seven. No, we wouldn't have enough division, so we're going to hang on. Um, I wouldn't mind doing more of this stuff, but we only have so much we can do here. Sudan's not looking so good right now. But... In, Truth be told, either one doesn't really matter to us. Uh, maybe we we'll save our political power and pay back five billion. So, what does good economic health do for us? Anything? No. Anti Kabila alliance collapses. Oh, look at that! Oh, nice. Nice job, guys. I got rid of another enemy division. That's good, though. So got a couple more days. Point three. There's no radically thing here. I want to save our political power. I want to see what happens because we're gonna lose political power here. We're gonna lose war support and whatnot. So, Tito Center. Although Yugoslavia is still alive to this day, whether it's barely holding on or not, it is far from what it used to be. The dream of preserving Yugoslavia as it was when Tito founded it, it was always in the state in the minds of people. As the event of 1990 further weakened the state, some of the army had formed a new organization. This movement was critical in the way the country was headed under Milosevic until the day it was forced to be dissolved. This was sure to be the end of the movement, or so it was thought. Internal reports in the army show that multiple generals and lower-ranking officials have been in contact with the clandestine formation referred to as the Tito Center. will be in our best interests, and for the survival of our regime to lock these people up, these reports are still too vague and not sound foundation. <clears throat> Arresting a bunch of generals who want to preserve Yugoslavia out of the blue also won't be a good look for us in the army. It appears that we have to tolerate these generals for as long as they don't as long as they don't make a move against us. We both want to get Yugoslavia back, don't we? Mm, factory repair. Stability would be nice, but reinforcing Bosnia. With their anti terrorist actions in full swing, we must make sure that the most unstable republic of ours, Bosnia, is kept under tight watch. The newly drawn plans for the, the year consist of reinforcing major cities, important infrastructural junctions, and military bases within it. Absolutely.
Why are you not attacking with the full strength of both divisions here? Did you learn anything? This is so bad. Ethiopia, you're killing yourself. Oh, Prime Minister passes away. Okay, so that's completed. Great. Wait, why is it demilitarized though? Um. I want to keep your political power up to two hundred here. I guess if you really wanted to. Because right now we're, oh my god, three divisions. Um, I don't want to be completely surrounded here, so we're going to go here. Nationalist March organized in Belgrade. Organized by Cesariol and other small nationalist organizations, fill in the streets of Belgrade with fervent, fervent Serbian ultranationalists waving Serbian flags without the Red Star. The marchers demand increased measures and in operations against insurgents as well as invasion of Croatia to protect the Serbian minority in Kragina. The march lasts a few hours before dispersing. While the Belgrade government announced the march for inciting national violence, no action was taken. A move criticized by NYL. The march appears to be bolstered as soon as support further. Can we just calm down? Oh, I don't want to lose any more political power, though. National Report 2000. Uh, to uh, the presidency of Yugoslavia from the director of state security. As <coughs> our Bosnia activities by the Bosnia Liberation Army stayed on the same level as the prior year. Though the cities such as Sarajevo, Banja, Luka, Zenica are safe from enemy activities, however, the country side is in need of further operations to handicap the operational efficiency of the group. As our Kosovo, activities by Kosovo Liberation Army continues to increase. There's a high chance that the KLA is using arms smuggling roads through Albania. Further operations and redirection of budgets are required to damage KLA operations. Here's Govino region. Local separatist group Herzegovina Liberation Army is actively being, being suppressed after the launching of an anti terrorist operation in late 99. The group is expected to retreat further into rural areas. Funding the group of the Republic of Croatia is still being investigated. It's very likely, though. Florida Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and report. Troubling. Car bomb explodes on the street. Today, 1432. A car bomb set up by the local terrorists exploded, causing multiple casualties and further destabilizing a nation. These terrorists will pay. Can you win the war yet? My god. Can you do any damage at all? Like, seriously. <clears throat> 2000 Reconstruction Program. <coughs> Although most of Yugoslavia have been spread from the violent secession of Croatia, the Croatian region was impacted harshly with it being home to intense bombing campaigns. Entire buildings, roads, and schools were leveled. Now that there is peace, at least during the moment, we can focus on the areas that were damaged during the Croatian war to help our desperate citizens. The central leadership of thus drafted uh, the 2000 reconstruction program to help rebuild crucial infrastructure for the people. Good. In Kosovo, huh? How bad is it in Kosovo? Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. Rebellion in Ethiopia? Oh! Well, that's interesting. Well, what did happen the last time we teach them nothing? I did not see this last time. Um, that's really not good. Al-Assad passes away. These? Well, I might want to re-double check this, because uh, this isn't good for us. Ethiopian Revolutionary Democratic Front. But it's good to know that this will happen. Reform Communist? Oh, interesting. Versus the Communist Party there. Mass Insurgency. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty bad. And then state status of the SRs. Ever since Milosevic took power, most of the social republics in Yugoslavia are often overshadowed by Serbia, even though this gives us a lot of power. It impacts the stability of the country. We should discuss the topic and find a solution very quickly. Oh, would you look at that? The end of the Ethiopian War. After months of intense fighting, the Ethiopian War has ended. Well, who could have seen that one coming? Totally not us. Alright, so then you guys are up here next, huh? Uh, start, start, ooh. Well, we got you guys back too, so which is good. Um, I don't need to send all you guys here. Ah. I need you all to get up there very fast. Uh huh. There you go. That's nine, that's eight, and that is eight, so that's perfect. So now we can't send people anywhere. But that's okay. Not to one side, uh, arm request for the funding. The Yugoslav armed forces have been one of the most funded sectors of the government ever since the events of the 90s. Whether it would be used to crush attempted secessions or to uh, support separatists in Croatia. This hour doesn't mean the JNA is satisfied with the current funding. Requesting more due to increased security concerns at the Herzegovina anti separatist operation. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to say no for now. <clears throat> and the SKJ Congress. The annual SKJ Congress is here, however, with a new century. Almost a decade of Slobodan's rule and our anti terrorist actions, this might just be one of the most crucial moments for our nation. Perhaps its entire future will be decided here. <coughs> How would you like 20%? Yay. Okay. Fighting with the rebel forces and deadly. Oh, I got ambushed, basically. Sheriffs will pay. How are we building? Two cities to use. Status of the SRs. And another thing that should be discussed is the status of the many socialist republics of Yugoslavia and their power. While Milosevic, Milosevic's power is unopposed by the republics, they still possess power and policy making of Yugoslavia. <clears throat> While Milosevic wants to keep the status quo, the faction led by Vosislav Sosej proposes to decrease the overall power of the SRs to an even lower degree. This caused NYL and uh, Ivan Stambulik to propose higher power for the SRs. SRs and policy making counter Sezilj. We need to choose one of these positions. Go with them. Go with Sezilj. There's a lot of stability. Wow. Keep status quo. SRs should have some power in policy making. Lose political power though. We're losing stability though, aren't we? So, go with Stambolic, Stambolic and NYL. SRs should have equal power in policy making. No, oh, that's not good either. I'm going to lose 50 political power anyways, or something here. 5%, 10%. Oh, my finger slipped. Yeah, I really want to go this way. I'll see what this is like. End of Concord. Look at that. Ah. That'll be the next one. Crush the Liberian government. Okay. Oh, exercising is killing them. So most stars where? Three or upper divisions, you guys are where? Five. Cause 
because here Kosovo will get even higher. By another level of forces. Oh god. Um, the SKJ Congress. Ah, uh, another party Congress. However, something's different. The atmosphere was more tense, perhaps even more than in the 1990 uh, emergency Congress. There are many reasons. Maybe it was because of the new century, or because it's clear all that the current situation cannot continue. Either way, as is acting president of SFRY, Slobodan Milosevic took the stand. It was up to him to announce the party's course in the new era. But it wouldn't be easy. On the one hand, he had an option con continuing current policies, which would lead to the even bigger problems, or he could shift the course of the entire country. For both options. Uh, it didn't seem unlikely. Everyone knew something was coming, but were they ready? It didn't matter anymore. The votes by the congressmen were in, and the results in. Congress doesn't approve of Milosevic's next term. Oh boy. Congress declare, declared null. And I won't best describe the shocking. Slobodan Milosevic declared the results of the next Congress to be rigged by extremist saboteurs on RTS. With the next Congress date being moved to the 2001 earliest to give Militia the time they needed to catch the saboteurs. Right after the TV address ended, police was moved into the building and arrested the members of the NYL on counts of corruption. Mass protests have started happening across the nation, defying Milosevic's government and posing serious threat to it as it continues to grow in size. The stability of Yugoslavia hangs on a loose thread. 2000 Yugoslav uh, Congress declared null. When the U Yugoslav Congress ended with voting out uh, Milosevic as its leader, many speculated Milosevic wouldn't go, qu go out quiet. Milosevic announced today that the Congress's results were rigged by saboteurs from inside and would consider null. Milosevic ended his speech by stating that no Congress will be held unless they're dealt with. More interested about Yugoslavia. Belgrade Revolution. It would be an underestimation to call the recent events committed by Milosevic unpopular. What well, started as a gamble by Milosevic to stay in power ended with extreme unrest, and most of the army in Belgrade side of the anti Milosevic's protesters began to file the government out of the TV address. Milosevic has been deposed, and he escaped the country to avoid capture. A new administration has been put in place with Stambolic as a president. We'll continue forward. Belgrade Revolution. Oh, just straight re revolt. Nice. Recent events orchestrated by Milosevic have ignited a wave of unrest that far surpasses mere unpopularity. Initially, in an attempt to consolidate power after not getting approval from the recent SKJ Congress, Milosevic's gambles backfired spectacularly. Following a televised address that triggered the anti Milosevic protesters, the majority of the Belgrade army quickly aligned themselves with the dissenters. Milosevic was swiftly deposed and barely managing to evade capture to flee in the country. In his absence, a new administration led by Ivan Stambolik, leader of the NYL that opposed Milosevic over the years, has assumed control. Stambolik has promised to revert many of Milosevic's mistakes, such as his use of Serbian populism, that led to mass, re mass rebellions and uncertainties. A new era for Yugoslavia. Look at this. End of Milosevic. At last, the time Milosevic's 11 year rule has been put an end by the NYL. We start the efforts to distance ourselves from Milosevic's failures and his use of Serbian nationalism. They need political power. Of course not. Look at this guy. Deal with loyalists. Appoint Joseph Joska Boros. Lose political power, get more stability. There's a lot of political power. Wow. Department of Act Anti Corruption. We're going to destroy all our political power, aren't we? But on with that weekly stability. Honor Tito's legacy. Joseph Bros Tito was a unifying figure for all of Yugoslavs. He and his partisans fought bravely, selflessly, and liberated Yugoslavia from the fascists. He kept Yugoslavia united after the war and led it to prosper. We should honor his legacy and his leadership that kept the Yugoslavs united. Increased instability in the SRs. <clears throat> the instability caused by the recent political developments has affected the other socialist republics in Yugoslavia severely. The rebel activity and general opposition to the government has increased. We should deal with this new instability soon before having to risk the separatist movements growing large enough to challenge the country. Increased security funding. Wow. That kind of just destroyed us. Wow. We need economic problems. Appears the recent political instability, oh my god, and increasing terror attacks, people's trust in a government or stagnant economy decreased significantly. This distrust sadly doesn't end for the common people. Multiple companies have started layoffs and cuts in spending to protect their assets in the crisis, causing the value of the Yugoslav dinar to drop significantly. We should try to deal with the economic situation as soon as possible. Oh boy. Well, it was in fair condition. Temporary loans. Oh crap. To combat the economic crisis, the economic ministry decided to take multiple loans from the IMF to fund the economy and keep its basic function stable for the time being. Although these loans will help us temporarily, we should try to find a permanent fix to our problems as soon as possible and unless the loans we take we take be our end. They should keep us afloat. The Millennium Summit, look at that. 
Why must you have so many problems, Yugoslavia? Please. Dealing with the loyalists. Sally Milosevic did not keep power through simple political maneuvering. He staffed the administration and army institutions with supporters. And even though when the head of the cancer's cut still persists, we should deal with these loyalists quickly and as soon as possible. Oh, we actually got political power. Look at that. Remnants of the old government. Sally Milosevic uh, did not keep power through simple political maneuvers. Yeah. We bring them just or else the regime we under serious threat. GL former officials. Reform socialists. Return of the SKJ. We need a lot of stability from that, but. We'll go with this one. You know what? We're going to go deal with the loyalists then. We can get stability later. That's in the Summer Olympics. Fighting with the rebel force is deadly. Yeah, pretty normal. You need to declare victory, okay. Yana Yev resigns, look at that. We have 133 political power now, which is nice. Reform the SPD. <clears throat> the state security services should be reformed to get rid of any pro Milosevic loyalists. It will be reorganized with a decreased power and a new decentralized staff to manage it. We'll also get any funny ideas. So at this point, it's pretty safe to do. It looks like these guys will win, so I might just bank on these guys winning. Actually, what is the terrain down here before we do anything else? It's a lot of forests. And planes. From part of victory in 2000? Oh. Oh. Conservative, liberal, social democrat, or reform. Well then. A little different. <clears throat> Department of anti corruption. So that's going to destroy political power. Oof. We're gonna honor his legacy first. Give more political power, we're gonna lose oh, we're gonna lose so much political power. No matter what we choose, we're gonna lose political power. God dang it. Nino's pro armed pro Poland's military. Calm down separatist se sentiments. Many separatist groups have sprung back into action. I think it were just a continuation of the uh, Milosevic administration with a different face. This cannot be further from the truth. We're no longer the same populist administration that used Serbian nationalism to destroy Yugoslavia. We'll give more power to the other republics to show this. It's only strength of five, so that's fine. Fugo. Yep, that's pretty normal. Good 
Drop a trap death penalty. Well, okay, there you go. Um, so how much are we getting now? Not very much. Yeah. And where are they at now? Five. Um. I don't want to do this one, but we'll do it anyways. If we get political power from this one. I want to definitely do this one. Oh, it's really been an interesting first episode here. Brotherhood, unity, and first and foremost. Our main agenda should be focused on brotherhood and unity. The simple principle secures stability and equality between the many republics of Yugoslavia. It's been sadly ignored for the years after Tito's death. We should start campaigns promoting unity to bring back brother and unity across the country. So we're not losing political power, which is good. Treaty of Vientiane. Nice. We could do this one. We're looking okay here. Just in case, we're going to save, because I don't know. Oh, it did nothing, basically. Okay, good to know we just wasted so much political power for nothing. Eh, well, well not completely nothing, but still. Die military seizes power. Containerization. I hope these guys come in here. Uh, new era for Romania, eh? Bomb explodes in your factory. Not ideal. Department of Anti-Corruption. <clears throat> Corruption during Milosevic's reign was very common with millions of dollars being pocketed by Milosevic's allies while the population lived in poverty. We needed a new department that would deal with the corruption that might occur between the different levels of government. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hey, it's one there so far. Brown, you can try that. Nice. Good for MXP, though. Do you like? New crackdown nationalism. During the reign of Milosevic, Yugoslav experienced the most hardships. We lost Croatia and Slovenia, barely holding on to Bosnia after coup by the JNA. <coughs> we experienced economic hardships, extremely high inflation combined with debts. And what was the main source of all these problems? Nationalism. Milosevic used nationalism for his own good and caused the destruction of Yugoslavia. We should never let this happen again by cracking down on local nationalism once again at any costs. <coughs> Secure the army. The army is filled with Milosevic's goons, and we speculate they might be planning a coup. Um, with Stambolic. Whether other crackdowns finish, we should at least at last deal with this problem in the army and secure the future of our nation. Hey, that's not bad. Fighting over the river sucks, but you might become an organizer. Probably not, but whatever. Engineer, Panzer leader, cavalry leader. It's not easy. Yeah, 8, 8, 12. 
eight, nine, nine, thirteen. Hey, would you look at that? Yay! <clears throat> we won. Even though we don't care about these guys really, we don't like paternal autocrats, but whatever. Oh, strength is negative ten. Oh, that's good. A new day in Yugoslavia. In a new Yugoslavia. At last, any vestiges of the Milosevic administration has been removed from all positions of government and army. We're free to revision, re envision Yugoslavia under our ideas freely. Tita's principles will be brought back in Yugoslavia and move towards socialism once again. Internal problems. Ooh. Oh my god, that'll destroy our political power completely. Yugoslav Liberation Committee. A new Yugoslavia. That seems like it would be good to do, too. Available as a political po uh, advisor. Weekly manpower plus 1,000. A group of population goes up. Destabilize Croatia. Fund local parties. A new coalition. Economic problems. Focus on fixing the economy. Begin negotiations. Responsibilities. Remove what are we? Oh, that would be so good to get rid of. Yeah. Well, we're going to destroy ourselves. Internal problems. Yugoslav has many internal problems ranging from political instability to terrorism, separatism to insurgents. The time to deal with these problems are now. So we just wasted 200 political power, basically. So bad. It feels like it wasted it, but still. Look at this guy. Interesting. Smoking. Yummy. You guys have a lot of kind support up uh, not there, but over here. I want to see what those new Yugoslav decisions are, though. Because they don't have a new coalition as well. We need to secure the political establishment of Yugoslavia quickly. Many new politicians have sprung up from the fall of Milosevic and those aligned with him. Rather than one party rule, we'll make a grand coalition between the many leftist parties. Should be good. Can we have the bomb stop exploding, please? That'd be nice. I miss all our weekly stability. It's going down quite a bit. Ah, so, a new Yugoslavia. It's time we begin to truly restructure and set the stage for a future stage of Yugoslavia. And Ivan Stambolic shall accomplish that just through his many programs. Whether they are focused on the economy, combating insurgents, or even just making the government look better, there will certainly be a fresh start, new, compared to the sluggish Milosevic government. <clears throat> However, we must tread carefully in order not to repeat Slobodan's mistakes, as with every step we take in further development risks Ivan Stambolic's popularity, which can either decrease or increase depending on the direction of his programs. If his popularity is consistently high, then all is well and good, but if it collapses... And so is the authority and will and power, and we cannot risk another failure again. Another risk to remember is the ever-present ethnic tensions, which have been a massive rock in the road for many years. While multiple head leaders have had their own approaches to this problem, it's clear that Ivan Stambolic's plans for these insurgents is unclear at the time. Thus, the risk of high ethnic tensions is a major problem, and could very well likely bring the end to our federation, so we'll have to keep it at a minimum. If it reaches zero, Stambolic will be deposed by the party. Ethnic tensions at 45, if it rises to 100, action will be taken against the government. Address economic problems. User popularity. So I assume we lose, use it. More political power, better, way better consumer goods, and get political power. Fun industrial development. Instruction speed, uh, uh, recruitment campaigns. Show off our successes. There's a crap ton of political power. Ethnic tensions will decrease, too. I want to use our popularity. Getting extra political power now is going to be very helpful. Calm down tensions. Foreign policy. Economic problem. Because we will really need to focus on this stuff up here. Royal massacre. Happens.
Viscosivo has what? Level 4? Yeah. Are we getting better? Happy 2002? 1? Huh. Reinforcing coordination, 2004. Well, maybe we need some newer guns. That's what. That's right. <clears throat> Responsible leadership. Ever since Theo's unfortunate passing in 1980, the leadership of Yugoslavia turned from respected and experienced to nationalist populace whose rhetoric changed whichever way the wind was blowing. With the toppling of Masilovic, uh, Yugoslavia has been saved and a new leadership composed of professionals will rule the country once more. Interesting. South African War, very nice. Africa bleeds. Because I don't, I want more political power and better weekly stability. But a new coalition first. Coalition for Yugoslavia. Better consumer goods. Okay. Debt management, because I'm completely ignoring the debt right now. We're still at fair, which is not bad, but we'll probably have to go higher later. You know what? I'll do that once. South African War. Hmm. I do want to get involved. I'm going to give me send two. No, still two. That's nice. We still have eight here, which is good. Back to ANC, South African government. ANC. So now we're only get. Oh, we're actually losing political power every day. Oh my god. So bad. We are here for XP. Because we know we're going to need it later on. Oh, the militia is so bad. Political politician kidnapped. Local politicians that support the recent events or policies of Ivan Stambolic <clears throat> has been kidnapped by a local rebel force and barricaded themselves inside a local office. Oh, what do we do here? Ethnic tensions increase. Hey, popularity saved. That's good. Give them money? No. Responsible leadership and the youth pioneers, weekly war sport, revolutionary movement revitalized. Weekly manpower goes up, weekly war sport goes down. Not good. Uh, re enter re enter the non aligned movement. We get a lot more political power. Our neutral foreign policy would make it impossible for us to ever align with the USSR, though. Hmm. Return to Titoist, Marxism, Leninism. I like the political power. Preempt another Milosevic. <clears throat> For far too long, Yugoslavia strayed away from its past set by the Grand Marshal Tito. Um, the party policy must return to roots to the principles of Titoism. You can hold. I just want you to hold for the most part. Hold the line as best you can. Happy August 1st, everybody. Hey, look at that political power. Alright, where are we at? How strong are these guys? Three di rebel divisions. How many do we have here? Eight, five. We need one more back. We really need to make another division. Nice, good job in Kosovo, guys. Coalition for Yugoslavia. Despite the wide margin, Istanbul, which won by and is already a large support within the SKJ Congress, uh, there exists another type of democracy in opposition. Istanbul, which has decided to tackle said opposition via a coalition. 
The new system of governance, propelled by the idea of a direct democracy, will require us to give us far more powers to the population restrict our own, which is the intended outcome, however, might just interfere with other programs. This, along with the need for greater governmental unity, will be solved and satiated with Stambul announcing a coalition with other fellow leftist parties, such as Reorganized Socialist Party in opposition to the various parties that might pose problems to us. Well, yes, as replicating the methods of the former Milosevic, it'll be for the greater good, as this new federation will soon be the bright star of the entire Balkans. Yugoslavia. Oh god. Not ideal. Yeah, we need more daily communist support. Mm, more reformed communist support, which is good right there. Re preempt him. Begin negotiations. Expand anti separatist uh, stuff here. Negotiations have failed. Economic problem. Focus on mili fixing our military. New Yugoslavia. Huh. Collective presidency. A new capital. Ethnic tensions no longer because of any ethnic problems. Huh? They do, definitely do want to do this one, but uh, this gives us more daily kind of support. No, it's for Slovenia and them. All right. Preparing for unification. Begin negotiations. The strategy Milosevic used to deal with multiple insurgent groups was to crush them using military force. Military force that would cause casualties and equipment loss, and in the end wouldn't even be able to defeat them fully. That's why negotiations will start between the Yugoslav authorities and the multiple rebel groups such as UCK, HLA, and BLA. But I think we're there. We're doing okay. We've already cooed our leader once and we're, uh, got rid of him. And we're doing the best we can. We'll see what happens with this Yugoslavia. I don't know. That's Red Dusk is a very interesting, eh, fun mod. And it's, so far, it seems like it's been made very, very well. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue on with good old uh, Stambulic. Hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.